All right, so the following data represents the age and weeks at which newborns first crawl based on a survey of 12 mothers. The green, even though there's marked wrong, the green stars represent the right answer and I saved the wrong one, but that's okay. So here, based off of this, um, yes, it is evenly distributed. If you look here at the stem leaf graph, um, it's approximately normal. And according to our distribution graph there on the left. So anyway, um, first, next for the next part, construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean age at which the baby first crawls. So they, they're nice enough, we don't need to use the Excel sheet to figure out the mean and standard deviation. They give us this down here, mean equals 42.83, standard deviation 9.5. Um, what we do need to do is we need to figure out, based off of using the t-distribution graph here, um, what our t-value is going to be. So um, they want 95% confidence interval. So 95 is t divided by 2 or alpha divided by 2, so 0 0.05 down, or 0 0.025. So if I ever get confused, I just look at the z, the normal z-value here, so 1.96 normally. But we got to go off of how many mothers we have. So the degrees of freedom is n minus 1, so 12 in this case, 12 mothers minus 1, so 11. So scroll up, and we need 11 here, so 2.201. So we're going to have 2.201, and then this is actually a different value. So 42.83, and then 9.5. And we just use n for uh, divided by the square root of n, uh, 9.5. So this will give us our upper bound. So if you look there, 48.86, we round to one decimal place. Six rounds up, so the 8 becomes a 9, 48.9. So that's our upper bound. Our lower bound is going to be 36.79. So we round to one decimal place, 36.8. So what happened? Uh, what would be done if it increased the accuracy of the interval without changing the level of confidence. Uh, excuse me. What needs to be done in order to increase the accuracy of the interval without changing the confidence? Yeah, you increase the sample size because if you increase the sample size, n, the square root of n, so let's say if we had 10,000 mothers, it would really shrink down because the denominator would be large. It would really shrink down the value there. Um, whatever's in the numerator, because actually the 2.201 times 9.5 divided by a very large value, even if it's the square root of that value, would shrink that value. So the lower bound and upper bound would get narrow and narrower and narrower as you do it. I'll just show you real quick. So, so this is the lower bound, 42.1, 42.2 instead of 36.8, and the upper bound, 43.5. So it is a lot uh, narrower substrate. So. Uh, anyway, I hope that helped you out. I appreciate you watching.